When it comes to gun shows, there's not much out there that tops the one and only SHOT Show. SHOT Show is basically the holy grail, the mecca of the firearms industry, if you would, and not just because it takes place in Las Vegas. SHOT Show is typically where all the big names show up, show off, and drop some of the hottest new releases of the year. It's the junior prom of gun shows, if you would, and the stuff that's come out of SHOT Show this year is pretty freaking cool. My name is Dustin with We The People Holsters, and in today's video, we're talking all about the Holy Grail herself as we go over our top five of the coolest guns that we've seen come out of SHOT Show 2023. Let's get into it. Now, before we get into some of the coolest that we've seen in probably a long time, it is a requirement that I remind you that if you're looking for a holster for your handgun, then check us out at wethepeopleholsters.com. But we don't just have holsters. We have a bunch of products, including some of the best damn t-shirts that you can get right here in the United States. We're talking cotton that's planted, grown, harvested, and sewn right here in the good old US of A. Plus, all of our apparel is printed in our Las Vegas facility. You guys can check all that out, wethepeopleholsters.com. All right, let's get into SHOT Show. Number one on our list of some of the coolest things we've seen come from SHOT Show this year is gonna be the Smith & Wesson M&P 5.7. Now the 5.7's been a caliber that's had some struggles over the year with limited of ammo availability and uh, reliability of the caliber and stuff like that. And this is the first high velocity pistol that SNW has produced. It's got a five inch barrel with threads for muzzle devices or a suppressor if you wanted to. It's got forward side serrations, rear lightning cuts to lighten that slide up a little bit. It's got fully ambidextrous controls and of course that 22 in one capacity because that's what all the five seven guys are hype about is the fact that it carries 20 plus rounds. MSRP on this one's gonna come in at about $700 or so, which is gonna kind of put it right in the middle of the market and right in line with competitor Ruger with their Model 57. Up next at the number two spot is the Koenig MC9 Micro Compact. Now this one is gonna be basically a reduced size of the already popular Mete line. Koenig says that they spent a whopping three years developing this gun to meet consumer demand for an updated CCW gun. It's gonna come in three colorways. You got black, you got FDE, and you have a black and FDE combo. And in terms of mag size, you're talking 12 in one or 15 in one with their extended magazine. Barrel length comes in at 3.18 inches. Overall length is about six inches. It's 1.12 inches wide and about 21 ounces, which is a little lighter than the Glock 26 with two more rounds, making it damn near the same size as a Glock 43. These are all gonna come optics ready with 100% co-witness posts, meaning that you can see even if your red dot goes dead. Best part about this one is MSRP is gonna be less than $500, which is super exciting. Koenig is one of those companies that's been known for having some of the best shooting handguns uh, available on the market today, and we're really hyped to see them get into that super concealed compact uh, 9mm and 380 style gun. Coming in in the middle of the list is going to be a suppressor. Silencer Co. just announced their LBP suppressors. Here, specifically, we're talking the Velos LBP can. Now, LBP stands for low back pressure, and it's designed to push less gas backwards towards you when you're shooting. Despite that configuration, it is full auto rated. It's a 5.56 dedicated can, and it has no barrel restrictions. It's also, quote, extremely durable, as Silencer Co. says, whatever that means. It does look totally badass, and while we're really excited to see them, it's unfortunate that it's still gonna take four to six months to get your tax stamp because the government just sucks. Number four on our list of really cool shit that came out of SHOT Show is the Anderson SRS series guns. Now SRS is going to stand for Suppressor Ready Series and as the name implies, these are gonna be rifles that are tuned for suppressors and ready for an AAC can. They actually come with the adapter right away. Included in this lineup is two AR pistols, one PC carbine, one 762 series rifle, and both the new Kyger and the new Kyger 9C Pro all coming suppressor ready. Now, the Kyger 9C Pro is coming real soon, and while Anderson hasn't given us a ton of information on that, we've been assured that we're gonna get one in our hands to take a look at it really, really quick here. While the SRS series is cool, what makes it really cool is it's a great option for someone who wants to get into a suppressor build, but maybe is very entry level or, you know, doesn't really know what they're looking for, or is just looking for a suppressor ready gun at a super great price point. And number five on this list is probably the coolest freaking thing I've seen come out of SHOT Show. We're talking the Oracle Arms 20. 2311. I'm super hyped about this thing. This thing is like a weird love child between a 2011 and a P320, and I am about it. While there's not a ton of info on this one out there yet, we can say that it looks incredible. It's like a 1911 or a 2011 juiced up with some goodies from the P320, and the best part is it uses P320 mags. 
MSRP on this one is somewhere between $1,700 and $3,200, depending on you know what options you come with, right? It's really freaking cool though. It comes optics ready. It takes P320 mags. They tell me it's got a great trigger. It just looks freaking cool. And I absolutely want one. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I don't own a 1911 or 2011 yet, but this one might be the one that makes me break that. There you have it guys, there is our five of the coolest things we've seen come out of SHOT Show. We understand this isn't a complete list, there's a ton of stuff that came out of SHOT Show, so we wanna hear from you. What do you guys think the coolest thing announced this year is? Drop a comment down below, and of course be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that, I'm Dustin with We The People Holsters, we'll see you guys on the next one. Stay free, friends.